Hi, Zeppa here. Today I'm just AFKing some skilling methods, trying to progress my account slowly, make some GP at the same time, or if you're an Ironman like me, you probably are more interested in resources than just plain GP. But regardless, this is an episode where I show you what I like to do when I'm not feeling like playing too intensely. So we're just vibing here. I have some coffee. It's a nice morning. Without further ado, Let's get on with the video. I'm starting off here with blood rune crafting or soul rune crafting here in Zeya. I'll show you on the map. So this is Karend and here in the north of Karend you have these dense essence that you can mine and you can do soul runes after 90 rune crafting and blood runes after 77 rune crafting. I know these requirements are pretty hefty but with the recent addition well not recent but with the addition of guardians of the rift minigame runecrafting is pretty nice i have 96 almost 97 runecrafting i have 95 runecrafting on my hardcore iron man so yeah I, I love doing runecrafting on the side it's very chill the vibe here is very nice also having the tumakin shadow means that i blow through a lot of soul runes so these are very handy for my account also just trying to max this is very okay money for iron man as well because regardless if you do soul runes or blood runes you can sell them to ali morrisane in al Karid and get very good money uh, from the shop the shop will always buy them at the same price and you can just even if you're pretty low level iron man you can do guardians of the rift get the robe outfit of of the eye which i have here and you can come to blood runes sell them 200 gp each to ali morrisane and yeah you can make money for fury if you need an onyx that's about three mil if you need money for construction if you need money well Wherever you need GP, you can get it from here. A very good method. Highly recommend. I'm going to show you here a one round of runecrafting. So first you mine the dense essence like you see me do. Then you go to the dark altar and convert the essence to a darker one. And you chisel it down into this dark essence fragment stack. And then you come back to the dense rune stones and you mine another inventory. Once you've got the second inventory down, you run to the altar, craft the runes, um, and then chisel down the second inventory at the altar, craft those runes as well, and run back here and start all over again. This is a great place to flex your cape, like I do here. This is a great place to hang out with me, hang out with all the other guys here who are probably bots, but anyways. How to get here? is you can teleport to winter Todd with a game necklace and come by there or you can have the fairy ring unlocked here it costs 100k but you can run from there or you can use the book of the dead or cadres memoirs and teleport to dark disposition arceus and just run from from there so yeah it's it's pretty easy to get here 77 rune crafting is a hefty requirement but once you have it you can afk here for as long as you want and you will always stack more runes you don't need to bank at any time if you don't want to you can just chill have a great time yeah five out of five would recommend so yeah you go to the dark altar turn your dense essence into dark essence and then you run to the altar. I'm gonna run to the soul altar here. And you can run to blood altar as well. Which is a bit faster. But soul runes give more XP. So yeah. And blood runes have come down in price a lot. So soul and blood runes are pretty much the same. Except if you're using a blood essence. That's an item that gives you more blood runes. And makes you get extra benefit. Once you get to the altar, just click it and you will have the second inventory. My way of getting through this is you can either just click an AFK here and they will go one by one very slowly. Or you can 
first click the chisel, then double click the essence, double click the chisel, and just keep going like this. You know, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And this is very fast. This is a nice way of doing it. I don't know if people have a... If, if you have a better way, make sure to write it in the comments. But that's how I do it. Then just use the stack on the soul altar. Run back to the essence. Yeah. I'd see you on the next method. Which is killing Wirewatch Sentinels. So this is my gear setup. Which is heavy on the prayer. I have plus 28 prayer bonus. I have the blister wood flail, which is required. And then the second metric is high strength bonus. So strength and prayer are the main priorities in gear setup. I'm just using pretty much the best equipment I have. If you have better gear, use that. If you have worse gear, it's fine. You can use uh, fury, glory, strength amulet. You can use climbing boots, no problem. Barrows gloves if you don't have them, rune gloves, anything is okay, fire cape, use the mythical cape, you can use, yeah, dragon defender is good, rune defender, dragon fire shield, whatever you have, if you don't have a ring, don't bring a ring, that's fine, you can use the normal natis knot helm, or even the proselyte helm, or if you happen to have a slayer task on the vampires, you can bring your slayer helm. So, you need Sins of the Father, and you teleport to Dark Mayor. You pray melee. If you want to AFK hard, you can pray Ultimate Strength or No Offensives, but I'm gonna pray Piety. Have your Auto Retaliate on. Ship your Super Attack and Super Strength. Make sure you bring your High Alk runes, so you can High Alk some rune drops. Yeah, just AFK here. Once your prayer goes below let's say 20 i would recommend you to run into this house here and just pray at the altar you will take like one damage two damage whatever but you will regen that back anyways and yeah if if i put my cursor here it says time remaining 240 let, let's see yeah, 242 so with piety i can afk for two and a half minutes a bit over until my prey runs out and these start hitting hard. But if I take my piety off and put on the ultimate strength, I have almost four minutes at time to AFK, which is pretty nice. And if I take the offensive prayer off altogether, I have seven minutes of AFK, but the XP and GP per hour will go down drastically. But if you're doing AFK stuff, I would highly recommend you to come here and use maybe superhuman strength or no offensive prayer just afk it away if, if you feel like you're gonna be afk for five minutes six minutes you can do that and you can set the idle notification plugin from rune light so if you get the blood shard which is a big ticket item from these uh, currently let me check the price blood shard is currently worth 5.6 mil and it's one out of 1,500 per uh, Wirewatch kill. And you can kill this like anywhere from 70 per hour to almost like 200 per hour if you're on Slayer task and you have the max gear. But yeah, this is very chill. This is a great way to get your combats up. It's way better than Nightmare Zone in terms of drops. You get all sorts of useful items from Wirewatches. I'll show the drop table here on the screen. If you're in Hardcore Iron Man though, I would be very focused on being here because once your prayer runs out, you can die pretty easy. It's very nice to claim your items with just having an extra Drakkan's medallion in your bank. Teleport to Darkmire, grab your items, it's all good. But so Hardcore, you don't want to risk your life AFKing here. This will be forever aggressive to you so no matter how long you're afking here this will keep hitting you unlike most of the monsters stop hitting you after 10 minutes of being in a place let's say you do gargoyles task and first they attack you and you can just afk but after Nani? oh my god oh my god what the damn oh my god great for the video the yeah this is why you afk it here 
Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that was my... Let's see. Wirewatch Sentinels. That was my seventh kill of the video. Holy moly. I think that's my 12th blood shard. So very nice. But yeah. Okay. N nothing else to say. This is why you AFK at wires. So yeah. Um, I, had, I have no idea what I was just saying when the drop happened. But yeah. Don't AFK here if you're in hardcore. Or if you do AFK, be mindful about the timer. Have maybe idle notification for when your prayer drops below 15 or something, so you don't accidentally go low uh, low prayer and get killed. Yeah, nothing else to say. <laughs> this video turned out to be very nice. Okay, on to the next method, which is one of my favorite AFK methods that I've done, because I've already gotten 99 with it. So I'm heading to the woodcutting guild. This is a pretty high requirement method, as it requires you 90 wood cutting and this method is redwood trees so this one is maybe the least amount of money per hour because i'm not even banking the logs i just love the afk there it's a great way to get the beaver pet which i don't have so that's why i'm still occasionally doing this even though i'm trying to max rather than gather all the pets but yeah you go upstairs to the, in the wood cutting guild and you just find an empty spot spec with your axe you can use an infernal axe you can use a dragon axe if you have a rune axe that's fine if you have the dragon or infernal or even the crystal one you can bring your light bearer ring which is very useful for having double the amount of specs you just wood cut here it's very slow and with the infernal axe as you're woodcutting, you burn some of the logs and get some fire making XP. And when you get your inventory full of logs, you just use your knife, make some arrow shafts, and just you can stack them forever. And you don't you have to never leave here. You can just AFK as long as you want. It it's pretty good woodcutting XP. I'll have the rates on the screen. But yeah, arrow shafts aren't worth much. So this is no GP, but this is very good for EXP. Yeah, just stand around here, wood cut away, enjoy some YouTube content. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe. Watch your favorite YouTuber, watch your favorite Netflix show. Listen to music, you know, do, do whatever you want. Enjoy the wood cutting, just vibe. I've been here for so many hours while playing League of Legends Teamfight Tactics, which is like a strategy or the chess game. You know, uh, you can do pretty much whatever while AFKing here. It's fine to just leave your character here. You will never take damage or anything unless you're in a PvP world. And you can just click once a minute, click once per 10 minutes, whatever, and you will get some XP, get some logs, and bank some arrow shafts if you have to do fletching on your Iron Man. Yeah, this is a very nice method. I know, 90 wood cutting, it's a pretty hefty requirement. You can also go downstairs and cut the magic trees that, that are next to the bank or the yew trees there. One extra thing I have to mention, if you have the light bearer and you have the dragon axe or infernal crystal axe, whatever, Specking with the axe increases your wood cutting level by three. And if you have the ring, you can keep your spec up pretty much all the time. So you can come here with 88, 89 wood cutting and still be able to AFK a lot by specking constantly. So yeah, that's an option for you if you want to try it out. Nothing more to say about this one. So let's move on to the next method. Something that I don't see a lot of people do, but it's one of my all-time favorite AFK methods for skilling and some minor GP as well. So yeah, I'm doing Infernal Eels. Apparently there's a guy here. The setup I'm using is Angler Outfit, some Fashion Scape, Jewelry and Cape, and I have my Ice Gloves. You need an Oily Fishing Rod and some Fishing Bait. And you just fish here, 
and you get these infernal eels and you use your hammer on them and you can get these onyx bolt tips you can get lava scale shards and you can get tokul which can be bought you can buy runes with tokul you can buy onyxes with tokul which is pretty good money if you gather up a bunch and yeah I'm, i've got the rada's blessing here so i'm getting double eels here and there like it says rada's blessing enabled you to catch an extra fish it's procking a lot now for some reason it shouldn't be doing that much yeah everything you get from here is stackable like the onyx ball tips the toggle let's see i'm gonna go here and break a few of these so yeah you get toggle you get onyx ball tips let's see if we can get a lava scale shard as well but yeah this method is approximately 20 to 30k fishing xp and you also get like 200 to 300k per hour in gp or if you're an ironman you can fish here to get your amulet of fury you can fish here to get your onyxes for the zenites you can fish here to get some gp as you can do the onyx bolt tips into onyx bolts and you can high alk them for a good price yeah it's it's very chill I've been here a lot of time, maybe not like the primary method, but if you're playing a secondary account and you just want to fish away and enjoy some AFK time, this is a good spot. You will never get attacked here, you can just AFK here, you have to never bank, just chill here, fish the eels, as long as you have fishing bait, you can just AFK, no problem. Once your inventory is full, you can just click the hammer, click the eel, Press nothing and your character will go through the inventory slowly. Or if you want to do fast, you can spam the hammer to the eels. Very nice. Super AFK. Decent profit. Well, you shouldn't be doing this to gain like intense amounts of money. But the amount of money compared to how AFK it is. Very nice. Especially for mid-level accounts. If you do Temporas, for example and you get your fishing up and you don't you don't necessarily need food but you want to afk and get some gp and get your fishing for mauritania elite diary which is 96 fishing well you can boost for it but still that's a huge requirement you can come here afk a bit very nice okay i think i'm gonna move on to the next method as this is just a fast showcase of all my favorites on to the last method of the video, which is one of my favorites, especially on an Ironman account like my account is. So what I like to do is a bank standing method, which is a great way to showcase your fashion scape. The only item you actually need is the dust battle staff. And we're going to be making planks with the lunar spell plank make. So you use the plank make spell on logs and you just afk it takes a bit of time to go through your inventory but you will get pretty nice magic xp completely afk and you can make a profit with this method as well regardless if you're doing teak planks mahogany planks whichever all you need is a room pouch with astral and nature runes some GP and the room pouch is not even required but it's just one extra inventory spot and yeah you just wait let your character do all the inventory this is very s slow so you only have to click every two minutes or I mean you only have to click like every one and a half minutes or something and yeah once your inventory is done you just bank deposit the planks grab some new logs and cast the spell once and it'll be done this is approximately 90k magic xp per hour which is super nice and you can get around thousand planks per hour made obviously the bank uh, planks will cost gp but they will cost if you use them on a sawmill this is pretty slow in terms of getting planks but this is very afk and it's a nice way to get magic level up 
So here I'm doing teak planks now. It doesn't matter which planks you do. Just click one of the planks. And let your character go to town. So yeah. As this inventory is going. I'm just gonna say thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this type of uh, chill slow monday let's do some skilling type of video make sure you comment down below that you enjoyed like the video if i get a lot of likes i will do more of this kind of content i'm very grateful for all of you watching the videos this was day 20 of my march video every day challenge zeppa out see you tomorrow peace